And welcome back to Noon Edition, everyone. Steve Schult, the president and flight director for the Flag City Honor Flight, joins us today. And first of all, Steve, last week you had another honor flight to Washington, D.C. How did that go, and what group of veterans were you focused on with that trip? Well, to answer your first question, the, the whole day was fabulous. Uh, we had a, a, the weather was perfect for the most part. And uh, we got to see all the memorials, got to see the changing of the guard, got to see Iwo Jima, the women's uh, military memorial, we got to see. So it was a fabulous trip. I always knock on wood that things are you know, going well. And then we got to uh, uh, the Baltimore airport. We were on the runway ready to take off. And uh, they got a message from the air traffic controller that there was a ma major storm system that was uh, going through the East Coast and we were delayed about two and a half hours. So we didn't get back into Toledo till about 1 a.m. But uh, I don't even wanna say surprisingly, the band was still there. Uh, there were still a lot of people there. So again, just shows our community really supports our veterans. Fantastic that people were still there because that's exactly what you guys want for them is that homecoming that many of them never got. Yeah, that, that homecoming, that welcome home is just so impressive. And it means so much to all of those guys when they come through. And when I say guys, uh, you know, there's also female veterans also. But again, we're probably 98 uh, percent, you know, uh, male veterans that are on the on the flight. But uh, yeah, they had a great time and they, they certainly appreciated all the people that were still there. So I, I assume the weather held out for you while you guys were there during the day. The weather was beautiful. It was uh, 85 degrees, uh, partly cloudy. So, uh, you know, it worked out well. For me, I, I prefer it to be about 60 degrees, but uh, for, for most others, they, they seem to really enjoy the trip and the weather held out great. No rain, so uh, made for a very nice day. Well, still to come, you've got a fundraising event. That's a 5K. That's coming up on October the 7th. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, Marathon is, is putting that on, and actually we have uh, a person who's on our board who works with Marathon. They're putting on that 5K race. Uh, it, it primarily goes to Flag City on our flight. Marathon also has obviously other locations across the country where it's going to support a couple of the honor flights in those communities. But uh, yeah, that's I, I will not be running in it. Uh, I prefer a 0.5K than a 5K. But uh, yeah, that'll be coming up here in, in, in Finley in uh, the first part of October. So hope to see a lot of people there. And I'm assuming if somebody wants to run in that 5K, all the information is on your website. Yes, flagcityhonorflight.org. They can go there and everything's there to register for that event. All right. Then you have your final honor flight of this year, and that one is scheduled for November the 7th. Which veterans are being focused on for that final trip? That one is is a just an all-general veterans, you know, can go on that trip. Uh, in June, we had an all-Vietnam flight, and again, that's to get some of our Vietnam veterans uh, off the wait list because I know, as I've mentioned to you before, our World War II people go first, Korea next. As a matter of fact, on our last uh, trip, we had one World War II veteran, which was really neat, and about uh, 12 Korea vets. So i um, not sure where we're at for November yet in terms of the breakdown, but uh, yeah, it, it should be a great trip. Steve Schultz, thank you so much for your time today. We always uh, enjoy hearing from you and how, how those trips go, and uh, nothing but the best for you guys in your final trip of the season. Thank you, Lynn. Appreciate all you guys' support, too. All right. We'll be back with more, including medical with Holly, right after this.